my channel today we have a very festive video for y'all we are going to be decking the halls and decorating for the Christmas season I figured that this would be a fun way to kind of usher in the Christmas season here on my channel so we're gonna be decorating my living room and a little bit of my entryway grab a cup of coffee I'm kind of gonna be chit-chatting throughout the whole thing and um here it is. It is the most wonderful time of the year. Let's go, guys. My favorite thing about Christmas time is creating even more coziness within my home. Now, this is the first year that we are in a home that we purchased, our first home ever. And this year, I wanted the coziness to be a level 10. So my theme for this year is a storybook Christmas. You're going to see a lot of reds, a lot of greens, a lot of blankets, a lot of knits. It is just the season of pure coziness. And I like to think that I live in a season of coziness like all the time. <laughs> but during Christmas, I'm given complete permission to be as cozy as I see fit. I really hope you guys enjoy this video. And I do also want to remind you guys that Yes, we love the decor. We love looking at all the coziness and creating it within our own homes. But remember, Christmas is so much more than the tree and the wreaths and the garland. Christmas is about spending time creating memories with the ones you love and being present. So during this Christmas season, my challenge to you is to be present with the ones you love create memories that will last a lifetime. This is the first year that I have a real mantle to decorate. So it was a little overwhelming to begin with, but in the end, I ended up loving it. I love how it really brings in the whole storybook theme. It kind of ties it all together. Um, the garland is from World Market for any of you wondering. So I recently discovered a YouTube channel called Cozyaholic and she does all decor things and I got the idea to put my stockings close together from her channel. So I'll link her channel down below. I also got the stocking holder idea from her. Those are from Walmart. I absolutely love them. Um, and I really enjoy having the stockings all kind of together versus laid out on the fireplace. I like how they're all together into one side. I really enjoy this look. I also saw these bells, this bell garland on her channel. You guys, this garland is stunning. It is at Hobby Lobby. I had to go to the next town over to get mine though, because my Hobby Lobby was sold out. It, they really jingle like real bells. Um, they're absolutely beautiful. They sound lovely. And I just kind of decide to drape two across. Um, and I ended up loving how it looked. It did take a while to get it to stick, but I love these bells.
opinion. I do not like ornaments on trees. Um, or I should say, I feel like I don't know how to put ornaments on trees. So I never do. Uh, last year I did and they were cute. This year, I think I'm just gonna do the lights. We'll see. Um, I'm really loving the tree with just the lights. I do have ornaments. I might let the kids decorate it. We'll see, we'll see. Uh, like I said, I'm not a fan because mine always just looks so ridiculous, but I do see people who know how to do it and do it so well, but that's not me. <laughs> You guys know I love to decorate with books. I have our advent books and a cranberry Christmas on that table and you're gonna see a whole bunch of other books throughout the house. Books are your best friend when it comes to decorating. I feel like they just add such a delicious coziness to any space. So I get really sad because I go to plug in my two beautiful Christmas trees and only one works <laughs> and I tried to fix the other one. I tried changing the fuse. I switched out some lights. It just isn't working. So that's okay. I'm still going to keep them there. Maybe um, put some a, a new set of like twinkle lights on the other tree. We'll see, but I'm not going to let it get me too upset I'm not gonna go buy new trees because it's not what Christmas is about ultimately After a morning of decorating, I decided to make some afternoon delights for my babies. And no, they're not homemade. No, they're not gluten-free. No, they're not sugar-free. But yes, they made my kids smile. And you know what? Sometimes that's all that matters, the simplicity of it all. You do not have to copy someone else's storybook Christmas. You don't have to be the mom that makes all the homemade things. You can just be you and your kids will enjoy every minute of this season. I am wishing you all a very merry and bright holiday season. And if you're not feeling it this year, I'm wishing you comfort and rest. This is the season of Advent. And that doesn't mean going around, doing all the things, getting all the things done. It means resting in Christ, in our Savior. 
I'm wishing you all a very Merry Christmas.